Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. We thank you for this opportunity to sleep, to wake up here and hearty. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. Thank you, Father, Lord, because your name alone will be glorified. Thank you for this opportunity to come into your presence. Oh, Father, we worship you this morning. Lord, we adore you this morning. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, all the adoration. For there is none like you. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name. Oh, Father, we thank you. 
We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we have come into your presence this morning. We have come to seek you, the only wise God. Also, oh, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God, that anything in our lives, O oh Lord God, Oh, that would divide your presence in our midst. Father, we ask for mercy individually, collectively. Lord, we say have mercy upon us. We ask that you wash us with your blood and make us whole, Father, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we bless your holy name this morning. We thank you, Father, Lord, because it's a beautiful thing, oh, Lord God, to wake up this morning, oh, Lord God, with a song of praise and worship in our mouth. Oh, Father, we worship you. Lord, we bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name that you will help us these days, oh, Lord God, that your steadfast love and justice, oh, Lord God, in our lives, in this world, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise. Help us, Father, Lord, to always make music to you and to rejoice in you, oh, Lord God. Father, we bless you. Lord, as we have come this morning, we decree in the mighty name of Jesus, the name above all names, eh, that we claim all the blessings, oh Lord God, that you have set for, for us today. Oh, Father, we thank you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, eh, we receive all those blessings because your word told us that daily you loaded us with benefit. So, Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus, eh, that no evil, no evil will befall me and my household. No evil will befall us and our households in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning that in this day, in this week, in this month, in this year, every day of our life, that wherever we go, that your favor and your mercy will accompany us as an individual, as a family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, as we go out today, as we begin this new week. Father, we command in the name of Jesus uh, that every of your creation will favor us uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, the sun, the moon, the star, the wind, they will favor us. Uh, they will walk in our favor, oh Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Father, Lord, we worship you this morning. Lord, we adore you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, Lord, there be any evil, Lord God. This day, this week, eh, it's my source and our household. Eh, in the mighty name of Jesus, we will have no share in it. We will have no part in it because your word told us a thousand shall fall at our side, ten thousand shall fall at our right hand, but it will not come near us. So, Father, for this, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus, will there be any power that has assigned? Oh, Lord God, to make us suffer this day, this week, this month. Oh, Father, we say in the name of Jesus, let such power expire in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, Father, Lord, we invoke blessings eh, from the east, from the south, from the west, and from the north to locate us and our household today as we go out, as we come in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we give you all the praise this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for all the roads, all the will fly through today. We'll drive upon, we'll walk upon. Eh? Lord, we soak him in the blood of Jesus. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Oh, will there be any way, any road, oh Lord God, tested for blood. Eh? Lord, you would cause us, oh Lord God, to be saved from those in the mighty name of Jesus. Because your word told us that the steps of the righteous are, gathered, are, are ordered. So, Father, thank you because you will order ourselves this day, this month, this week. Eh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are asking you that as we go into this new week, eh, Father, Lord, eh, help us to walk in integrity of heart eh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh, help us to live every day of our life with integrity in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. Oh, Lord, my Father, guide us, oh, Lord God, even in our home homes, oh, Lord God. Help us, O Lord God, to be true to the gospel, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O Father, Lord, we give you all the praise this morning for the snow like you, O Lord God. Help us, Father, Lord. Help us to honor you with our eyes. Help us, O Lord God, not to set our eyes before anything that is worthless, O Lord God. O Father, Lord, may we choose wisely this day, this week, O Lord God, in the mighty name of 
of Jesus, O oh Lord God. Help us, O oh Lord God. Help us to hate the work of the evil ones. That in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we thank you. Thank you because, O oh Lord God, you have made us to be free from bondage of sin. Eh? Oh, now that we are free, O oh Lord God. Lord, yes, indeed, we are free. That we will not cling to sins, O oh Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father Lord. That as we fight our battles this week, oh Lord God, be big, be small. Oh, Father Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus eh, that in your, your name will be glorified in all of this, eh, in all that we do. Your name alone will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you because you purified us. You will refine us eh, in the name of Jesus. Eh. Thank you, King of Glory, that you will help us, O oh Lord God, in all that we do to, pass, to, to, to persevere, O oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh. O oh, Father, Lord, every evil desires of our heart, Lord, you will help us to overcome them. In the name of Jesus, as they rise, eh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, help us, oh, Lord, God, to depend on you, to depend just solely on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we help, we worship you this morning. We thank you, Father, Lord, that this week you will help us eh? in the name of Jesus. You help us to choose wisely, oh, Lord, God, in all that we do. You will help us to speak wisely, oh, Lord, God, in all that we say in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. Father, Lord, we worship you this morning. We adore you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord for another week. We'll continue our prayer this morning by listening to the word of God. We are going to listen to Psalm 101 at this time. Psalm 101 of David, a psalm. I will sing of your love and justice. To you, Lord, I will sing praise. I will be careful to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? I will conduct the affairs of my house with a blameless heart. I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithless people do. I will have no part in it. The perverse of heart shall be far from me. I will have nothing to do with what is evil. Whoever slanders their neighbor in secret, I will put to silence. Whoever has haughty eyes and a proud heart, I will not tolerate. My eyes will be on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. The one whose walk is blameless will minister to me. No one who practices deceit will dwell in my house. No one who speaks falsely will stand in my presence. Every morning I will put to silence all the wicked in the land. I will cut off every evildoer from the city of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. In the name of Jesus, this is uh, one of the Psalms of David. You know, it's a prayer for help to walk a blameless life, to live with integrity, and to serve God in all that we do, in spirit and in truth. This morning, we are looking at leading with integrity, whether you're a leader in the community, in the church, even in, your, in our own homes, as a husband, you know, we are leading the family. Even as a wife, you, you are living in the house, you know, there the, are the, 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 some things the men of the house cannot do. So it falls on the woman, leading the children, leading everybody. So in any aspect of our lives, in any way that we are, we, we are leader at work, we are leading. We have people who supervise, you know, we have our own businesses. We have people under us that will supervise. We are leading. So are we leading with integrity? That is what we are looking at this morning. Look, leading with integrity. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we thank you. 
you know, this this psalm is penned down by David. And uh, it is believed that that was in the early days of his reign as king. And, you know, decided that, you know, the standard by which is going to reign, the standard he wanted to live, you know, and to lead a blameless life. He knows he will need God's help. Without God's help, there's nothing we can do. He needs God's help. He needs to be upright. You know, as a matter of fact, I read and read and read this, you know, all, all the verses were just, you know, you know, what talking about. But I want us to look at, you know, verse 4 to 5 or even to 7. Like I said, all the verses are what talking about. Say the perverse of heart shall be far from me. I will have nothing to do with what is evil. Whoever slanders their neighbor in secret, I will put to silence. Whoever has a haughty eyes and a proud heart, I will not tolerate. This is, you know, David now about his rule. So this is worthy of, of, of nothing here. Because David wanted to live a blameless life. So he seek for help. Because he knew that he cannot do anything by himself. And he, he said, you know, looking at wickedness, is anything vile or vulgar, evil thought or associates, all this does not work with integrity. That's why he says, the, the perverse of heart shall be far from me. I will have nothing to do with what is evil. Evil is out there, all over there. And so if we look at integrity, a leader or someone of integrity will live wisely. Someone with integrity will care for his or her home. Man of integrity will monitor his eyes. Who hates what is false. A man or woman of integrity will attend to his heart. Will attend to his heart. A man or woman of integrity will guard his or her soul. And so on and so forth. Will seek out to be faithful. A man or woman of integrity will deal with the, the, the deceitfulness and will also understand the law standard. That is, you know, talking of integrity here. And integrity is, you know, is foundational, it's essential for leadership. Even the Bible talks about it from, you know, different various viewpoints. Proverbs chapter 10, 9 is, you know, talked about it. 11, 3 talked about it. 13, verse 6 talked about it. Proverbs 28, verse 6 talked about it. Now we are looking at it in the book of Psalms, Psalm 101, Integrity. Leading with integrity. As we will be praying this morning, as we will be looking onto this psalm this morning, even after this, that we will apply this into our heart. This is where the fruit of the Spirit comes in as in Galatians, as we found in Galatians. If we look into that psalm, we'll see, I will, I will, I will, I will, nine times. This is just a eight verses psalms. And in it, we have, I will, reoccurring, nine good times. That is declaration or a promise. If I say, don't worry, I will do this. 
I will give you this. I will do that. It's a, it's a promise. It's a promise that I will do that. And that is what David is doing here. And we can do it even now. God helping us. We relying on him. We can do it as well. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will help us. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name this morning. As we look at leading with integrity. A man of integrity will monitor his height. The man of integrity will watch what he sees, what he looks with his eyes. A man of integrity, woman of integrity will monitor ambitious eyes. We have to be in the will of God. We have to hate what is false, every form of falsehood. We have to hate it. We have to have nothing to do with it, but cling to the Almighty God. God will help us, and God will interpret even this Psalms even more unto us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. As we look with leading with integrity, Lord, Father, Lord, that, that in whatever capacity, O oh Lord God, that we are leading. O oh, Father, Lord, help us, O oh Lord God, that we lead with love. Love, willingness to love people regardless of their status, regardless of their actions, regardless of what they can do or cannot do for us. Oh, Father, Lord, help us, O oh Lord God, to lead with joy to be committed to the task that you have set before us, O Lord God. Be it we are leading in the community, be it we are leading in our church, in our places of work. Father, Lord, help us, O Lord God, to how to do this with joy. That we are committed to that task, even in our homes. Father, let your peace reign in the name of Jesus. Peace is a commitment to an inner calling that is unshakable and undeniable. Father, Lord, we ask for this in the name of Jesus. These are all you know, fruits of the Spirit. Patience, willingness to see beyond the troubles and obstruction that is before or around us. Grant patience, O Lord God, unto us in the name of Jesus. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Oh, Father, Lord, help us to be leaders, oh, Lord God, that absolutely depends on you in the name of Jesus. Leaders that are dependable, leaders that are consistent in all that they do in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, uh, leading with integrity has to do with self-control. Yes, it's good to be angry. Help us, help us, O oh Lord God, that even as we are angry, it will be at the right time in the right way. In the name of Jesus, that we'll be patient and we have long suffering at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, that you will help all our leaders, in the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray for ourselves this morning. Because we all lead in one way or the other, be it in our homes, be it in our jobs, we are leaders somewhere. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Commit your ways, commit everything into the hands of God that I want to be a leader with integrity. I want to lead my home with integrity. 
I want my wife to see me as a man of integrity. I want my children to see me as a man of integrity. I want my husband to see me as a woman of integrity. My children to see me as a woman of integrity. Help me, Father Lord, as I have come before you this morning. In the name of Jesus. If you are a pastor this morning, pray this morning. That you would, you know, they, they, they will not confuse loving God with, with loving their ministry. They will not confuse intimacy with God, with someone preparation and Bible study. They are all different things. The setting a godly example is different from projecting a pastoral image. Father, we need your help this morning. We cry out for help this morning. That you will help us, O Lord God. That we will not confuse being a strong leader with a need to be in control. Father, Lord, help us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah to your name. We're going to continue our prayer this morning. We are going to pray for ourselves. We are going to pray for leaders this morning. Leaders, in any capacity, we are going to pray for them this morning. And even for ourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything in our lives that will not make us to lead with integrity, we are going to come against it this morning. By the power in the name and the blood of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Let us pray this morning. That, Father, in the name of Jesus, I destroy every work of the enemy against my life and destiny. I destroy them. By the power in the name and the blood of Jesus, I destroy them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I put to fly every bandit of the enemy against my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I put them to flight this morning. Let us decree this morning by the power in the name of Jesus. That every power of the enemy that rises against me, against my family, against my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I trample upon them. I trample them down. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, I subdue under me the enemy who rises up against me in battle. In the name of Jesus, I subdue them. In the name of Jesus. Be it that enemy is internal, be it external, I subdue them this morning. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes we are enemies to ourselves by things that we do. So let us pray this morning because when we say enemies, enemy, enemies, you know, things around us in the world, they are enemies. Things that differ from the way of God, they are enemies. Anything that will not make me, that will not make you to fulfill God's purpose in our lives, they are enemies. Because they are in the way of God. They are in the way of God's will. So let us pray this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. That Father, by your great strength at work in my life, I subdue under me the enemy who rises up against me. In the name of Jesus, I subdue them. In the name of Jesus, pride is an enemy. Subdue this money in the name of Jesus. Slander, gossip, deception, vulgarity. They are all enemies. Every vain glory, every vain sham that is not of God. They are all enemies. Enemies in the way of the goodness of the Lord in our lives. So let us pray this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, by the power and the blood of Jesus, 
I silence every tongue of the enemy speaking over my life, speaking over my home, speaking over my children. Silence them this morning. In the name of Jesus, I silence them. By the power in the name and the blood of Jesus, I silence them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray this morning. In the name of Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. At that name, every name must bow. In the mighty name of Jesus, that I will rise, I will shine. In the name of Jesus. The Father Lord will rise, will shine in my life, in my home, in my destiny. And consume every darkness of the enemies in my path of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that every raging flood of the enemies against my life and glory in the name of Jesus this morning, I destroy them. By the power in the name of Jesus, I destroy them. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus that the Lord will contend with any power that is contending with my life, with my destiny with the life and the destiny of every member of my household, in the name of Jesus, that the Lord will contend with those powers. In the name of Jesus. Every oppressing power in any area of my life, in the name of Jesus, let them be drunken with their own blood this morning. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray this morning in the name of Jesus that every captivity that the enemy has placed my life and destiny, let it turn to good now in the name of Jesus. I turn it around by the power in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning as individuals, I, collectively, oh, Lord God, as we have prayed for ourselves this morning, in the name of Jesus, that any hindrance or hindrances uh, in our lives uh, that will not make us to lead with integrity. Father, Lord, we lead them, O oh Lord God. We lead them at your feet this morning. Lord, that you will help us, O oh Lord God, that will be leaders with integrity, that will lead with integrity. In our homes, in our church, in our businesses, anywhere we found ourselves to be leading, Lord, that we will lead with integrity, that will be leader with integrity. Because we are going to, 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 to lead wisely in the name of Jesus. We are going to live our life wisely in the name of Jesus, that we will be careful to lead a blameless life in the name of Jesus, that we will act wisely in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, even in our homes, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you will help us, O oh Lord God, as the woman in the house that will not destroy our own homes, because, O oh Lord God, will lead the home with integrity, will be wiser. In the name of Jesus, as men, O oh Lord God, that they will be wiser in taking care of their homes, in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray, you know, for all the leaders this morning. Be it in the nation, be it in the, in the, in the church, all the leaders. We are going to pray for them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 3, 14 says, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. So we need to lift those ones. We need to lift them up in prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 92 verse 1 says, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. 
So, Father Lord, this morning, we thank you for this opportunity and this privilege, oh Lord God, to be on this prayer platform and to lift up leaders, leaders in the church, pastors, lay leaders, leaders in the nation, to lift them before your throne this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you will instruct them and teach them in the way which they should go. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you will guide them with your eyes. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are thanking you this morning because, oh Lord God, you will be their guide uh, and you will protect them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your provision in every area of their lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because, oh, Lord God, in your power, in your might, uh, you will bless all the leaders. You will expand their ministry for those in ministry, the pastors, the evangelists. You will expand their ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10 say, And Jabez called on God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou will keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And it was recorded that and God granted him that which he requested. Oh, let us pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. That Father Lord, you will silence every evil voice that is speaking against our leaders, be it in the church, be it in the nation, be it in our own homes, be it at places of work. Oh, Father Lord, silence every evil voice that is speaking against our leaders, speaking against the media ministry, speaking against their church, speaking against their lives in the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that, Father Lord, by your power, put an end to activities of the wicked against our leaders, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus that God will send help from above to help and strengthen all our leaders in all areas of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus that you yourself, you will announce our leaders. Announce them by yourself. In the name of Jesus, announce them by yourself, Father Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. That our leaders, they will see their position as an opportunity to serve. This position to serve, to serve you through the people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. For there is none like you. Lord, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus that if there be any sins, oh, Lord God, in their lives, Lord, that you will save. Lord, that you will forgive her in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, that your healing power will begin to operate her in the lives of our leaders, in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will, they, they will call upon you in all that they do, they will call upon you, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, they will call upon you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for every husband. We ask for wisdom. Let the spirit of wisdom, let it come upon them. 
your word in Proverbs tells us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray this morning as we lift up, oh, Lord God, all the, 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 the men of the house, all husbands, Father, Lord, we lift them up now before you and we ask that you will fill them with, with the spirit of wisdom wisdom and discernment in the name of jesus because they are faced with decision making every day whether the decision is big or small oh father we ask that you help them to grow to grow in your knowledge to grow in your love father we ask that you will help them to heed to your instruction and keep your words close to their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray against temptation in their lives in the name of Jesus, that you will help them. That way, when they face temptations, Lord, you will remind them of your word, Lord, and that you will always provide a way of escape for them. Lord, we ask for protection for them. Against all temptation, against footholds that could lead them into temptation. Help them to renew their mind daily. Help them to understand the seriousness and consequences of giving into sin. Oh, Father Lord, you will help them. Not to gratify the desire of the flesh, but to walk by the Spirit instead. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, will bless your holy name this morning. Ephesians 6, verse 4 says, Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. The same Ephesians 5, 25 says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus that God will help all the husbands to be the spiritual leader that you have called them to be. Father Lord, help. Help all husbands, Father Lord. We leave them before you this morning. Lord, that you will help them to be the spiritual leader that you have called them to be in their various homes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, they carry burdens. They have a lot of weight they carry. But Lord, we know that you are good. You are a good God. Your yoke is easy and light. Father, you will remind them this morning, in the name of Jesus, that you have called them for a purpose. And in your strength, they can live. They can operate. That they are not alone. In the name of Jesus, help them in parenting, Lord. That they will lead those children that you have put in our care because they are your children. We are just their caretaker. They will train them up in righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning. In the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be all the glory. Oh, Father, Lord, as we lift all our leaders, the president, the vice president, all the, 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 the senate, everyone that is leading us, even up to the council, the council chair. Oh, Father, Lord, we lift these ones before you, Lord, this morning that they will see their role as a calling. is not an opportunity to be famous. It's not an opportunity to, to, to amass wealth, but they will see it as a calling, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray for them that all forms of ungodliness in their lives, let it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray this morning that our leaders will be filled with divine understanding and wisdom in the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning 
that are leaders, they will follow the counsel of God and not of man. In the mighty name of Jesus. That they will have the wisdom and knowledge of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning. In the name of Jesus. That's in leading us. They will obtain direction from you, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even the ones advising. Advising all advisors. To the government. To the president. To the, the vice. To everyone in position of authority. Lord, in the name of Jesus, that they will all obtain direction from you, Lord, in leading. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning. As we lift, oh, Lord God, before you, all our leaders. Leaders all over the world, oh, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, that there will be tests and hunger of God in their hearts. In the name of Jesus. That Lord, you will lay your hand of power and might upon them. In the name of Jesus. Even in all the arms of the government, O oh Lord God. Even to our schools, O oh Lord God. All the leaderships in the school system. All oh, government establishment. Oh, Father, we ask this money in the name of Jesus that you will lay your hands of power upon them. In the name of Jesus, that they will not lead with their own might, with their own power, but they will lead with integrity. They will lead wisely. In the name of Jesus, they will lead by by eating what is false. They will eat false in all their leadings. In the name of Jesus. That they will attend to their hearts in the name of Jesus. That in their leading, Father, Lord, they will guide their souls in the name of Jesus. That every deception in the name of Jesus will be out of their lives in the name of Jesus. That they will be faithful, Lord. That our leaders will be faithful, Lord. That they will surround themselves with men that are faithful, with men that are blameless, and who have a servant heart, O oh Lord God, that are ready to serve. Not to glory, in their positions, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning, in the name of Jesus. Every influence, every satanic influence, every external influence over our leaders. Oh, Father, Lord, we forfeited this morning. In the name of Jesus, we forfeited this morning. Oh, Father, Lord, will there be any covenant within and among our leaders, any satanic external covenant that is influencing their hearts, influencing their decisions? Oh, Father, Lord, this morning we break that covenant. We break that covenant, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus Oh, Father, Lord, do something new this morning. In the lives of all our leaders, do something new. Do something great. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we we'll bless your holy name this morning for there's none like you. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus. This morning we cannot pray, but we'll still pray. We are interceding for the church of God. So we'll just continue our prayers in the name of Jesus by praying for the church. 
As we pray for church, we want to look, pray for the missionaries. We want to pray for Christian homes. And as the Lord will direct us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for your church because you said you will build your church and the gate of hills will not prevail over it. Oh, so Father, Lord, we thank you because your church will continue to march on, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus. So Lord, we are asking for forgiveness of every sin in our lives individually and as a whole in the body of Christ. Father, Lord, forgive us because we have dabbled into what we have no business with. Help us to refocus. Help us to come back to you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help the body of Christ, O oh Lord God. Help the body of Christ to walk in alignment with your plan, with your purpose, with your wish. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, Lord, this morning, in the name of Jesus, we bind every plan, every strategy of Satan against the body of Christ. Father, Lord, we bind them this morning. In the name of Jesus, we bind them. The fire of the altars have been quenched. Oh, Father, we ask, oh Lord God, that you will revive your altars in the body of Christ. Revive our altars, oh Lord God. Let your fire come down, oh Lord God. We need revival, oh Lord God. We quench the fire, oh Lord God. Because we went into what we shouldn't, oh Lord God. Even in our speaking, even in our dressing, in all that we do, Lord, we have gone astray. We have gone away from you, oh Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, we ask, oh Lord God, that your fire will fall. Your fire will fall again upon the body of Christ. Let there be revival. And let it start with each and every one of us. Let it start with us, O Lord God. Let it burn in our hearts, O Lord. Let it burn in our hearts, O Lord. There will be people of integrity, Lord. That we will guide our hearts, we will guide our souls, O Lord God. That every perverse of this world, O Lord God, will not be found in your church, O Lord. Oh, Father, Lord, help your church this morning. Help us, oh, Lord God. Oh, we've done away with things of you. We've done away with prayer. We've done away with everything. We chase after vain glory in the body of Christ. Oh, Father, Lord, we pray this morning. Every spirit of vain glory in the body of Christ. We bind you this morning in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of prayerlessness in the body of Christ, we bind you this morning in the name of Jesus. Every walk of the flesh in the body of Christ, in the name of Jesus, we bind you. We ask that you aspire in the name of Jesus. Oh, every walk of the flesh. In the name of Jesus, we bind you this morning. In the body of Christ, we bind you. Works of the flesh, we bind you. We bind you in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, we bind you. Your word says we are in this world, but we are not of the world. The people of the world should see us. They should want to emulate us. But no, reverse is the case, Lord. We are the one now emulating the people of the world. Oh, Father, Lord, kill flesh in the body of Christ. Every work of flesh in the body of Christ. Father, Lord, kill them this morning. In the name of Jesus. By your power, by your might, oh Lord God. There's nothing too difficult for you to do, Lord. Lord, we cry unto you this morning. Let there be spirit of brokenness upon the body of Christ. Release that spirit upon the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, in the body of Christ this morning, we challenge and we pull down every forces, every spirit of disobedience in the lives of your people, in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we know this is not right, but we still want to do it because we want to do it. Because our flesh 
will not let the Holy Spirit to reign and rule in our bodies, in our souls. Oh, Father, we pray this morning that we want to be people of integrity. We are all leaders. We all lead one way or the other. We are all leaders. We are all leaders. Oh, help us, Father Lord. Help the choirs. Help the hushers. Help the members. Help the lay leaders. Help the pastors. Help all the ministers, oh Lord God. Help the Samis. Help the evangelists. Lord, we all need your help this morning. Help us, oh Lord. Help the body of Christ, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. We need your help, oh Lord, this morning. So we pull down every forces of disobedience in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. And we pray that your blessings, O Lord God, we come down upon us. Blessings of peace, of joy, of goodness, of meekness. Blessings of divine healing. Blessings of fruitfulness. Blessings of progress. Blessings of the gift of healing. Gift of prophecy. Blessings of the signing of spirit. Oh, Father Lord. Let it come upon us. Let this blessing come upon the body of Christ, O Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. Because you will create in us the thirst and hunger for God and holiness in the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you because you have sent down your fire of revival into the body of Christ. Oh, Father Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. As we go into this week, Father, we thank you. Because it's going to be a glorious week, a blessed week, a week that we walk in your power, in your might, a week that we walk in your will and not as a, a week that we walk in your purpose for our lives. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor and all the adoration in the name of Jesus. Because, oh Lord God, our steps will be directed by you. We'll be at the right place at the right time in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you as we go, Father Lord, that we will remember. That we will strive to be leaders with integrity in the name of Jesus that it will be far from us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, that the perverse of art shall be far from us and that we will do nothing and have nothing to do with what is evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we'll bless your holy name this morning because we know that you have heard us and you have answered us. Glory be to your name. Oh, no, adoration be to your name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, Lord. We love you, Lord, because you loved us first. And because of that, you speak to us daily. You speak to us every now and then, every minute, every second. You wake us up from slumber. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you because, oh, Lord God, we will not be poor in spirit anymore, oh, Lord God, because we are going to depend on you, oh, Lord God, for all that we will do in the name of Jesus. That you will keep us humble. Remind us always in the name of Jesus that the arrogant and the one we say nothing, look, cannot stand before you, Lord, and we want to stand before you. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, we adore you in the name of Jesus. And as we go now, we ask that you bless us. You bless us in our communion. You bless us in our going out. You bless the work of our hands, O oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Father. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone.